Welcome back to RV Capital Talk. I'm Dave Dufour uh, at RVNewsNet.com, uh, and with me is uh, Sherm Goldenberg, and we've been joined by Andy Murray, who is VP of RV Sales at Lippert Components. Welcome to RV Capital Talk. Thank you for having me. So uh, we, uh, you, you have been uh, uh, on on the move and on the roll, so to speak. Actually, a sort of somewhat of a pun, but uh, acquisitions have been sort of the uh, name of the game with uh, with Lippert here recently. It has been a busy couple of years, um, especially uh, 2011. We've uh, we've completed a nine acquisitions so far this year, yeah. and uh, it's been uh, yeah, it's been quite a ride. That's great. That's great. You know, I thought you'd insert here. <clears throat> Number one, I don't like doing business with guys that are taller than me. <laughs> so how's that? Is that better? Uh, that's better. <laughs> and and uh, you know, second, uh, you know, uh, I wanted to point out that what what a factor Lippert is uh -huh. in, in the market. Um, you know, we ran a story in RV Business not too long ago that kind of brought me up to speed with, with all this. 4,000 employees, uh, 28 U.S. facilities. Um, by most people's measure, the number one OEM RV supplier, mm -hmm. um, which is your turf. Mm -hmm. And um, apparently, the recession hasn't stopped you, you guys from... Uh, being a, a you know you mentioned nine in a year we were talking 12 in two years mm -hmm. um, you know what, is, what what's your game plan what are what are the areas of focus I think I have a couple ideas but I want to hear it in your terms you know our focus um, is really what uh, what makes sense for our customers um, our, you know, our number one focus through all of our growth is to um, maintain levels of service to our customers and provide them the best value that we can um, but through that, you know, we've been looking for opportunities within our two core business units, being LCI and Kenro, um, for uh, for things that make sense, um, whether that be organic growth or um, growth on the outside of the company that could be acquired that uh, could add value to our core um, customers and core segments today, as well as uh, branching into some other areas that we haven't been traditional uh, markets for LCI Kenro. Major uh, point of emphasis uh, for Lippert. Uh, clearly, according to Jason Lippert in, mm -hmm. in, in my last uh, conversation with him, uh, is the aftermarket. Absolutely. Um, that's been a major segment for us this year. Um, you know, we've, as a company in the past, we've, uh, we've been in the aftermarket. We've worked with a handful of partners, but we've never really organized ourselves and taken a full out um, onslaught to the, to the industry, if you will. And, and so we've structured a group, uh, Mobile Outfitters um, is the name of that division. And uh, we've dedicated staff, dedicated resources, dedicated facilities um, to make that happen. And um, it's really, uh, so far, we're on the leading edge of that curve, but, uh, but the opportunities there appear to be significant. Well, when we say aftermarket, you know, a guy asked me not too long ago, what do you mean aftermarket? Well, you mean not directly to the, to the manufacturers, of course. But mm -hmm. what more specifically does it mean in this case? Where, where is Lipper going to be over the next year to three that they weren't before? Basically, we'll be, uh, we'll be targeting the retail customer um, through aftermarket partners. So our strategy isn't necessarily to go out and sell directly to um, John Q. Public, although we will do that um, in the cases where it makes sense, but really to take our products that, um, that make sense for aftermarket, whether it's a bolt-on type of application, an upgrade, um, a feature enhancement, those type of things, and, uh, and offer that through a distribution network to be able to bring it to the, um, to the retail public, uh, somebody that may have a unit that's four or five years old that may not feature some of the things that are out there today available on new RVs, um, giving them the opportunity to, to make that upgrade. Um, in the process, one would assume Lippert needs to build a consumer aware brand. You need to brand your name more than you have uh, in the aftermarket uh, to the American consumer, U.S. Yep, that's correct. Um, you know, traditionally we've kind of been behind the scenes. Um, we've been the guy that uh, the foundation um, of the coaches are built on, but haven't necessarily been out there in front. So we've been working um, on getting ourselves out there a little bit more, getting the name out there, um, and then at the same time, um, you know, building that brand of Mobile Outfitters, which will be our aftermarket division. That's going to be um, your consumer-facing website and everything else. That's as well. correct. Yep, that's okay. correct. That'll be the interface and uh, and building some um, some correlation there with our companies. 
how, Any, how go, long, go ahead. Uh, how, what, what kind of time frame do you think, uh, it, what, how, how long will it take, do you think, to ramp up and become a, a genuine, uh, a full, fully present, I guess, as opposed to partially present with the, uh, with the consumer uh, market? Well, we're fairly far along that curve. Um, we actually have, again, facilities and staff in place, and so um, we anticipate uh, to be shipping product um, full force into the aftermarket. Uh, and I'm talking incremental business over the what we've done in the past, but under our new strategy um, yet this calendar year. So mm -hmm. certainly within 2011, um, and obviously it will be growth over time. But uh, we've <coughs> we're putting the things in place, and you know, as um, without going into too great a detail, one of the really the the greatest challenges of that is um, when you deal with OEMs versus aftermarket, the OEM expectation is you ship things in bulk quantity. The aftermarket right, right. is um, you have to have the uh, you know the packaging, um, the documentation, the installation instructions, all those things that go with it to be able to install one at a time from somebody that doesn't do it on a regular basis. Right. So so th that's the kind of infrastructure that we're building right now and putting together, and uh, that's all very close to being pulled together. Is it, is it a combination of online and in uh, say d dealer display type of uh, yep. of, uh, of yep uh, absolutely as focus. well as working with uh, you know the major national. Um, retailers that are out there already. So, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, you know, I think that uh, I'd like to uh, delve into a, a couple of these uh, acquisitions and, and some other things. But, but I did have a question, and maybe for the next segment we'll That's go right, into that. Yeah. Um, this mobile outfitters, mm -hmm. I've never heard about this before. Now, is this something that you're sort of in the process of announcing now? Or? Yeah, actually, um, I believe there was a release earlier this year um, that talked a little bit about our focus of the uh, the aftermarket, and through that process, um, as it's as it's developed, that's where we decided um, that it really needed to have its own brand recognition. So that's how how that has uh, come to be. So, yep. So you're on the so you're on the leading edge. We're term. the cutting edge. <laughs> yeah, is, there, is there a website out there right now, or is y that in the process? Absolutely. Um, you can actually find it uh, through our homepage, which is uh, w www.lci1.com mm -hmm. um, and you can branch out um, and actually another uh, uh, while we're talking websites another f new feature that we've recently added is the press room um, which contains all of our product literatures um, and basically all of the information about uh, about our extensive um, book of products so that's mm -hmm. something that uh, would be nice to check out as well but yes you can get to the mobile um, outfitters website okay. through uh, through our homepage. Great. all right so I I now it's time for us to uh, take care of a little mm -hmm. bit of business before we sign off for this uh, this uh, segment Segment, right? We've been accused of being morose and uh, flat, you know. Too I mean, serious. Yeah, too serious. So it's time to smile, Dave. And, and Andy, if you care to smile, <laughs> okay. I mean, if you smile <laughs> for that's something the, you do. That's uh, the camera there. Well, so we're we're, okay. we're going to sign that, off. Yeah. We'll be right back uh, after this. So stay with us here on RV Capital Talk. Ready, smile. It hurts. For more TV like this from the world of RVs, head to RVNN.com.